Finally, I'm, 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 we've been so excited about you know, hosting you, and we are very happy that all of you safely arrived. Welcome. And we are now heading uh, uh, for uh, the area called Watari. Watari is a district, part of Fukushima City, the southern part of Fukushima City, where the um, and nuclear I mean, polluted air you know, reached. So Fukushima City is not entirely contaminated by radiation, but the southern part was more contaminated than the other part. So we will visit that area to see uh, what kind of like, you know, decontamination project is going on and how the kind of removed you no know, polluted soils are you know, piled up in the in the backyard of the ordinary and residential uh, in the residential area. Nuclear power plant is the, from here to the uh, the south the eastward. Uh, so as I told you that you know, when the explosion took place, uh, it the uh, polluted air comes from the you know, southeast toward this direction, and it reached to toward you know, in the to the middle of the city. So this you no know, southern part of the Fukushima city is more contaminated. And uh, actually, you see that you know, a lotus flower blooming here and uh, on your on your left. You can see that in the middle of this residential area. It used to be a paddy rice field, but because of radiation in the soil, the farmer gave up you no know, you no know, no farming. I mean rice farming. But you no, know, it's so become a kind of just you no know, weeds growing and it looks so bad. So in order to just console his soul, he planted this lotus seed and now lotus flower are blooming. So it looks beautiful, but this is a very very tragic scene because no 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 he gave up the rice farming here. So Mr. Tao, the head of the local energy of Fukushima Sai Senokai, literal translation would be the association for resurrecting, not just recovering, resurrecting fishing. Thank you for coming despite this hot weather. えっと、ここがあの、関野宗男さんの自宅で。Mr. So we are, we've been working with Mr. Kanno for over the past 3 years and we are doing a lot of no, activities to and uh, not only here but also in the entire village. の中で何にもあの意味 there is a special uh, filter and machine with special filter and they absorb the it, so it actually absorbs no air from the bottom. And you see the filter is now it was originally very you can come closer. Not transparent, but now you see a lot of kind of dust there. So it's simply basically so collecting the, you know, these particles in the air, and every week, you know, Mr. Kanno will send this you know, collected data material to the National Institute of Environmental Studies to check the radiation. So, so by this data we can tell how much you no know, radioactive particles are actually in the air. So this is the air you are you are actually inhaling and we are testing you know, the level of radiation every week. To prove it safe. So I eleven point five. Don't don't it. So 
それどこから取った土なんですか。えっ、ー、とそのアイノサっていうところのメルジンだけなんですけどね。So this this soil was taken from the yeah southern part of the village and now it, it's not ten microsieverts, more than thirty microsieverts. 三十超えましたね。三十え三十 above above thirty. それであのー、まあ事故直後はですね、あのー、それぞれ20キロ圏内の人たちをそれぞれ、あのー、迎え入れておりました。So, right after the nuclear explosion, actually, we were hosting or we were helping evacuees from the coastal side. So, around 1,500 people are here who, who evacuated from the coastal region、uh, to Idate village. So, we are actually helping them. Uh, our Idati village is located you know, 30 kilometers, located between 30, kilometer, 30 to 50 kilometers from the、uh, nuclear power plant. Because of the wind direction, the nuclear you know, materials were kind of flown and kind of thrown, you know, driven and dropped、uh, in this village. <coughs> We have 6,200 population in total in this village, but around 3,700 evacuated voluntarily. For us, our farmers, the meaning of life or joy of life comes from the moment when we see that you know, we seed and you know, it's, it grows and we harvest. That's the real kind of essence, you know, meaning of life. For our,、uh, for us farmers. <coughs> so we looked for a land where you know,、uh, crop, I mean,、uh, no, farming is possible. And we finally found a place in Marumori town in southern Miyagi prefecture. So, we are actually burying the contaminated soil on purpose and checking how deeply this radioactive material soaks into the deeper into the land. So far, what we found out is that water soaks into deep, deep into earth, but actually, radioactive material no, do not. So they are now covering, I mean, bearing the、uh, remove this. You see the plastic bags.、No? So they are now covering、uh, the plastic bags with, no, with soil. And we arrived at the、uh, village hall, administrative center of the village. This is the Idate village hall. The emergency kind of responsive unit was the home, and the head office was on the second floor、uh, right after the earthquake. It was a total mess and great panic. So, this is a very important thing. So, this is a very important thing. So, this is a very important thing. So, we kind of、well, we developed this village. Without relying on no nuclear industry, and we work together to you know, develop this you know, village you know, basically based on our agriculture. Our、uh, village administration also tried to do、uh, its best、uh, to stand by、uh, local residents. まあそういう中でのちょっと事故なもんですから、本当にあのこうなんていうのかな失ったもの本当に悲しいっていうかね、えー、そんな気持ちでいっぱいですね。Mm. So.、Uh, the, So, we've made such a hard effort、uh, to you know, develop this village, but we lost everything in a single moment. And this song. <laughs> this is our village song. And I like this with you. Actually, when you wrap the head, then the you know, song starts. And this lyric is very beautiful and I love it. So, mountain is beautiful, water pure, the 
the name of the village is Ijate, my hometown. The birds singing in the green forest and the sun shines. <laughs> so these you know, no weeds are actually a combustible garbage. So actually we can burn it. But because radioactive materials are you know, contained, the ashes can't be buried in an ordinary way. So there's no uh, ashes from the weed will be also uh, kind of uh, processed in a special method and contained in a different storage. And you see another school here. This is the Itoi Primary School. And now uh, they are cleaning up the you know, school ground. Unless no, no children return to the village, our uh, village will perish and disappear. My name is Toshiki Akiyama. I'm from Fukushima, the capital city Fukushima of Fukushima Prefecture. I'm a fourth year student from Economics Department. Um, you know, the primary reason is I'm from Fukushima. That, that, that fact uh, motivated me to join this trip. Um, but from the first year, I was looking for the way in which I can help Fukushima in some way. And this is uh, one, of, one of its events. And uh, yeah, I thought the purpose is very good. And uh, I thought I can learn many things. And definitely it was uh, very sensitive and uh, a meaningful trips. Especially the talk from the Kanno-san in Iratemura was um, yeah, beyond expression. I already made some nice friends with Harvard from Harvard, so in that sense, it's also a very good time today. My name is Shilin Lo. I usually go by Lin. Um, I am from Singapore, and I am a PhD student at Harvard University. Listening, um, it was really, it was almost overwhelming, I felt, just, you know, and there is, some, to some extent, um, these are not unfamiliar images um, because I have seen photographs and even some short videos of things like the, the waste piled up and covered um, in, you know, um, in sort of cleared spaces within Fukushima. And I had known, of course, about the evacuations, the, for the forced evacuations. Um, but of course, to hear you know, the personal testimony of someone who's living through it um, from Mr. Kano was incredibly moving um, and really just you know, drove home the, the intensity of the situation for individuals and for their families. Um, and the fact that it's not just an environmental problem or even or a political problem or any one single kind of problem it has such deep personal implications for communities you know for individual family units that make up these communities as well uh, my name is uh, nico uh, nicolas stansorf is my full name i'm originally from chile but right now i'm a postdoc at the weatherhead center at harvard university i just finished a phd in anthropology and I spent two years here in Japan studying food safety after 3.11. 
so questions about radiation and how people decided whether food was safe or not uh, because of the Fukushima nuclear accident. Well, today we came here to Fukushima with a group of uh, Harvard students in conjunction with uh, students from Tohoku University and we're visiting er we visited areas uh, such as Itate and uh, Fukushima City. It's, it's been a great experience um, actually for me as well. I never even though I studied this, I had never been to places like Itate that were evacuated. I, I had always stayed for my research in areas that were further inland where people were, uh, uh, where there's less radiation comparatively. Yeah, it's been a great experience uh, today. Um, they, I was surprised at how much, uh, how much dirt it was accumulated. So we saw a lot, and through the bus we saw a lot of um, places where they were doing the contamination work, which basically means uh, collecting the topsoil, like the, the, first, the top five to 10 centimeters of topsoil and accumulating it in bags. And one of the things that uh, as we were driving around, we saw over and over again, were just towers and piles and piles of these bags uh, accumulated with radioactive dirt. And that they're definitely not in a, they're not in their final resting place. These are temporary sites uh, that are still right next to where people live and they will eventually have to be moved somewhere to be deposited more permanently. Um, I helped plan this study tour because it's a great opportunity to reflect on the situation in Fukushima and learn what's going on right now. Um, it's a short tour but we exchanged various opinions with Harvard students which was really valuable. In Fukushima there are a lot of problems related to the nuclear accident but there are also people who don't give up trying to solve them. I think, especially for young people in Japan and overseas, it's really important to know the present condition in Fukushima in order to deal with these problems in the future.